guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today is a Dollar Tree haul. All right, so this has been my second trip in two weeks to the Dollar Tree. And of course, I have to show you guys what I picked up because I'm still working on my last haul with a ton of different DIYs. But I think I'm going to incorporate some of this with the other stuff because I didn't get a ton of fall items. But this is more like a fall haul slash farmhouse haul. Uh, so anyways, let's get into it. I already have like my calendar set for what videos are going to go out each week. So then it kind of keeps me like accountable for actually having to use the items that I bought. All right, so here we go. So the first thing is fabric. They came out with a ton of new fabric. I have not seen any of this from last year. Um, and I am not going to take these out of the rolls. Although everyone's like, I want to see them. But I just like if I take these out... It's just like, I don't know, it's gonna mess up my life. <laughs> uh, so I just kinda went with some pretty colors. So this one has like a watering can and it looks like there's like some boots on it, maybe a wagon. It's honestly kind of like a mystery to me, but I just really liked the colors of this and that's kind of what was more eye-catching for me was the colors. Same goes for this one. I think this is also a wagon. Maybe this is the same one, I'm not. I think this is the same one, just wrapped a little bit differently. So you can see there's like a red wagon on here, some sunflowers. Uh, these are the exact same, but that's okay. Uh, I also grabbed this little checkered one, a pumpkin one, and this one is just a like really pretty like light colored sunflower uh, fabric. Then I'm going to do fall. So this is you're gonna get all the fall and then you'll get like the fun farmhouse stuff so I found this really cute like wood beaded pumpkin they had a couple different colors but I loved this one I don't know what exactly I'm gonna do with this this was just so cute to pass up that I figured we'll come up with something if not I like throw it in a tiered tray maybe put it on a frame or a sign but I just thought this was so neat for the Dollar Tree the other great find was these long bead garlands. I love this. They have like a little like darker colored bead. This one was leaves and I don't like this little tassel. Luckily these will just come right off with no big deal. Uh, but yeah, so we got a leaf one here and then they had a pumpkin one, which I thought these were adorable and I'm always looking for some new stuff for my tear trays. So my tear trays are going to be a little bit different this year. I don't know if I'm going to do a video. Let me know. Do you guys want to see like tear tray videos? I do one almost every single year and I kind of quit after Christmas last year. Like I just kind of quit doing my tear trays uh, on the channel. So let me know if it's something you guys still like, like decorating videos. Let me know. So anyways, for tear trays, that's what I got. They also had some really cute bows. Their bow options were honestly amazing this year. Uh, they always come in like this like two pack, but I this one was my absolute favorite. It has pumpkins on it, but they have like the navy, like the teal. These were really, really cool. And I feel like every single year they come out with the exact same ones, but I want to say there was like six or seven different bow options to choose from. I grabbed these and then I just grabbed these because I don't really use a ton but I feel like that when I need a bow, I'm not good at making them, and I would much rather just have these ready and available to go. Another favorite find was these little wreaths with, this one has like a buffalo check leaf in it, which I thought was really cute. They also had this one, I liked this one because it was different colors along the beads, and it has blessed in the center with the pumpkin. And then this one is just a little green leaf. I thought this one was really cute as well. And of course I had to have all of them. Why, I'm not sure, but that's just kind of what we do when we find things like this. Like this is like new this year. It's not like the same, same stuff like every year that Dollar Tree comes up with. I also grabbed this giant sign. I actually, I'm hoping the idea that I have for this really works out because I have a really fun idea and if it doesn't work, you're not gonna see this sign ever again <laughs> um but i love this one it's so pretty farm fresh pumpkin patch hay rides corn maze hot cider this is a little bit sparkly but it's okay it's not like that crazy amount of sparkle that they used to have in their signs so i think they're listening when they say we don't like all that sparkle all right the next few fall items are more for 
decorating. So they always have like really cute scarecrows. So I actually plan on decorating the cemetery with these. So like nothing like morbid or anything, but um, I really love decorating for fall. Um, so I will be taking some of these to the cemetery uh, to decorate with. So we have three different scarecrows. And then I thought these were really pretty too. These little yard signs, like metal signs, but they're just like a pumpkin like this. I grabbed a white one and that one looks just like the orange. And then I grabbed this one. I thought this one was really pretty with the beads and it says harvest, harvest, harvest is what it says. But I thought this, I thought these were really cute. So I was really excited to find those. And then I also found this as well. I do plan on redoing this. I guess, never mind. I guess they do have a lot of glitter, black glitter, which is amazing. Uh, but I'm definitely going to be redoing this. I'm thinking if you guys have those like calendars from this year, I think I'm going to put like a calendar picture on here, like that rooster or even that cow. I'm just really excited to um, do something with this, but I don't think I'm going to do it fall. Maybe, maybe not. We'll figure that out later. Okay, so farmhouse, I can't stop going to like, it's like a little four-way at my Dollar Tree with the farmhouse items. So every time I go, there's always something new. So I found these like really cute like shiplap houses. So I think they had black as well, but I just grabbed two of these white ones. And then they also had these, which I thought these are really cool. I don't know what to do with them yet. I mean, they're just pretty plain, so you could probably do anything with those. This was, I was over the top excited to find. These are pretty large. I found this one that says home, if you can see. And then I grabbed one that says welcome. And these are huge. I also found these wood rounds. They are back at Dollar Tree. I picked up three of these because you just never know. I always use them, but like this doesn't even fit. Like just to size. It doesn't even fit on there. The home one doesn't even fit on there. It's it's huge, but I loved those. I love that they're like already black. I don't think I want to paint them or anything, but that was like, I think my favorite find. I also picked up four of these wooden pumpkins. They also had foxes this year. I did not grab those. Just grabbed some boring old pumpkins. All right, this is actually what I went into Dollar Tree looking for was these pumpkins. Cause I always come up with something with these. They're always fun to do like little like door hangers. You could do topiaries with these. Uh, you could put robot transfers on them. You could do chalk couture on them. You could throw some Cricut on here. I'm thinking I might do like a blank video with like some of these fun things uh, for fall. So let me know in the comments if that's something you'd be interested in is like a Dollar Tree blanks, like what to do like with Cricut or stencils or anything like that. And then I also, I already found these and I showed in my last video, but they were just like that darker, like wood color. Uh, and I've never seen the other colors. So they had white, so I picked up just one of those. And then they had the black ones, which I had to pick up two of these. These are just so cool. I, like Dollar Tree, like I get so angry at them and and I'm like, I'm not gonna go shopping there. It clutters my house. And then I find things like this and I'm like, I have to buy all of it. I don't know, it always happens. And then I also found these, which I'm hoping with a little acetone, uh, the little home sweet home comes off because I'd like to do something different with these, but I picked up two. And those are, but they're even just cute. Like the little greenery in there and like, you're good to go. Throw it in a tier tray, throw it on a shelf. like. They're just like so cute and I love the little like frosted glass. And the last thing I grabbed was more florals. And I said this in my last video, I do not need to buy, but these are, these are going to be for, some of them are going to be for like outside decorating, like I said previously. So they're not all going to stay at my house. We have sunflowers and I think these are actually pretty full bunches. So you get like, like six of these little flowers, which I think that's a pretty good, like a pretty good little bouquet. And I also grabbed these. Gerber daisies. Oh, Gerber daisies. Okay. Well, I didn't know what they were, but they looked like burlap to me. So I grabbed a couple of the orange and the tan and two of the red or the maroon color. And then I did just grab some of this color mums. Uh, that's it. That's a lot. It was honestly plenty, but, uh, now I really need to get crafting because <laughs> 
two Dollar Tree hauls in two weeks, it's a lot. And you guys know it too because you guys know that you buy this and you're like 15 bags deep in your craft room or your dining room or wherever you craft at uh, and it needs to get used. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like hauls, let me know. I, I don't normally do them very often, but it seems like during the seasons, I have to because there's so many good items. Uh, so if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I would love if you consider sticking around and subscribing, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!